my country people before i give una the old bogen is all get to the way break my heart before they make i just give una small news we be say men won't they understand the background of where they come from una remember say after the supreme judgment aisha yusuf can come and say president bola tinubu no be a president say she don't go ever in her life address sam as a president mm-hmm. after that one we'll come the year mm-hmm. say president good lord jonathan go visit tinubu for office go congratulate him but something can happen where aisha yusuf talk make read them social and political activists called aisha yusuf has expressed a disapproval of former president good lord jonathan's visit to president bola tinibu at the presidential villa in abuja jonathan visit to the president villa on friday was reported to be a congratulatory visit to tinibu following the supreme court verdict affirming its election after a private meeting with tinibu jonathan emphasized the importance of past presidents coming together to find solution to elevate poverty among the masses in the same vein wrote me amitri constantly condemn say the supreme court still let bola tinubu be president after all the evidence of forgery certificates and yamayama things we would know her for hmm. my people now this one i can stare reaction for social media we can catch fire where some people not support waiting the supreme court to talk and when some people also support now there the supreme court's justice accuses of cjn of abuse of power fourth panel that affirmed tinibu's election published a retiring justice of the supreme court musa danjito muhammad who reportedly pulled out from the seven man panel that dismissed all the appeals that sought the removal of president bola tinubu from office he accused the chief justice of nigeria cjn justice olukayo de ariwo of abusing the power of his office addressing the issues relating to the cjn justice muhammad maintained that the judiciary as presently structured gave so much power to the cgn who he said usually take decision without consulting other justins as this one constantly bolo for now there will come the yes article one address nigerians on the 30th of october say he want talk something very important when i know say article say no they give up for this matter so we wish him good luck wish him well for this battle we no one make it end on the other hand labor party we be the national chairman of the court barista julius abure in don't terminate the appointment of some of the aides including members of the presidential campaign committee in say since the supreme court don't give their verdict not what if you do again so they don't scatter and their they will own consider, yes say we can don't tell workers say he won't cut their salary may they receive chicken money may therefore use the money to build fct this battle where they want to start so he go hot to they say money not day they say money with the person they receive it too small they say the economy hard and we can want to cut salary into two my country people the economy don't add though they say everything uh import that they import and enter nigeria then they take care of the nigeria economy no complete let's not let me one talk i want to show now this video of showing the interview one of the guests my country people when i hear me hear me go he blessed they slap me from one side of the ear my country people on a big od tv board oh they analyze all the trends where they happen i will put them together into one video give una una do well Let's bring it down because, uh, look, I'm worried that a currency that doesn't belong to us, that we should not have any business with, is affecting the lives of those. There's some Nigerians that have not seen dollar before. There's some Nigerians that have not held dollars before. But yet, the effect of dollar is affecting their livelihood. And I'm one, I mean, I'm not an economist. I, I know little uh, about economics but then um how is it so bad 
Uh, I know it was Peter B that was uh, mouthing so much of uh, uh, we need to produce and uh, from uh, consumption to production in, in the campaign. He, he said so much about that. Um, what exactly do you think is making us rely so much on uh, dollar? Now, dollar would have been nothing to us if we don't import as, as much. So it's because we rely on foreign so let's break it down for Nigerians to understand. How bad is our importation? So for anyone who is watching or listening, uh, it means that virtually everything that we wear, we use, we drink, we eat, we have to bring it to Nigeria. So the from point abroad. that some people impregnate their wife, they export and import their children to Nigeria. Is that bad? Now, we saw, I'm now hearing and now that the Chinese are now doing their own kind of adire and is is now cheaper than the adire being made in abel in abel yeah now the if you saw a native the native is only sown here in nigeria the material it's is imported. imported into nigeria yes I, is give, that bad? I, I have a popular to example point that toothpick, toothpick that is made from the wood made from the wood that i can actually file a toothpick in my backyard is imported into nigeria it is imported. sometimes salt is imported into nigeria sugar is 100 percent important to nigeria all the sugar we consume don't believe me go to national sugar development council website now as people are watching go to the national sugar development council of nigeria nigeria should have reached sugar sufficiency by 2017 according to the publication by the agency but as i speak to you not one grain of sugar how dependent is our life as a nigeria on importation we are dependent on the rest of the world and if you are dependent is it on up the to 99 percent I would say that, okay, so this is what economics say. Marginal propensity to consume. So that people can understand it. For every one naira you earn, or every hundred naira you earn, how do you spend? So you can know by how much is dollar affecting you. And when we have this conversation, why is it not just, we are just speaking above your head. Whether it's somebody, a beggar on the road, a beggar on the road, dollar affects him. A counselor, beggar, a organizer, dollar affects him. Who does not end dollar? Who doesn't have any relationship but dollar with dollar? is affecting them. So this is the reason. We call something marginal propensity to import. So when you earn money, economists believe that money should be spent in about four ways. The first is marginal propensity to consume on local products. That's the first one. Two, marginal propensity to save. That is the first one. If you earn money, what proportion of that money will you spend inside your economy? That is the originating, the origin of the good you are consuming from beginning to end is within your economy. That's number one. Number two, how much of that money, proportion of that money are you saving within your economy? Number three, is marginal rate of taxation. What proportion of that money are you giving to government to build roads and so many other things? The last but not the least, but most importantly, what proportion of that money are you spending on imports, including SUVs that say they cost and some members of ours will buy soon. Marginal propensity to import. The more your marginal propensity to import is high, what does it mean? It means that the, all the monies you work for in, in our lifetime, we are telling the rest of the world that I want this my effort to create job for whichever component has the highest out of the four. In the case of Nigeria, and people should, should, should observe very carefully, from their spendings, anything you spend that is not made in this country, you are giving jobs to another country. It's not that you want to. That is the decision. It's economics. Two, you are telling the foreign reserve, you are telling central bank, I want to take part of your dollars so that you can pay because this commodity is important. You don't see it. The way we don't see Ebola. But we know that when a man entered Nigeria and had that virus in his blood, he influenced so, so many persons in Lagos and got to some part of Nigeria. The same we don't see COVID with our eyes. But when someone catches COVID, and the sample is taken to a lab. We test that we know this person has COVID. The same thing with this economic virus. So if anybody is telling us a lie or telling us a partial truth, the truth that we really don't need, it does not matter to us that we should keep devaluing our naira, then the person is not telling us a whole truth or he you, wants you, an you, economic you said that, uh, And I'm worried. I'm worried. You know why I'm worried? I'm worried that, uh, God forbid, anything happens to us. If you say we are so dependent on importation, importation, what is being brought in Nigeria that we almost cannot survive without outside world helping us. Even the food that we eat. But there is dangote sugar. You said uh, our sugar consumption Sir, is almost 100%. Dangote sugar is 100% imported raw. Most of the time liquid. 
they come here solidify it and sell all the cream sugar only three companies have the license to bring all the sugar we are consuming in nigeria and this is not is a is, a, is in the public domain it's not even a secret it's in the public domain the report is published by the national sugar development council of nigeria you can google it what about food most of them are imported most but, of them are but there imported. was a time they were telling us that uh, we were now we are rice in terms of rice production that we are if you have excess supply the price will go down what is happening to the price of rice is it what going about up or coming uh, cement down? We have sufficiency in cement in a way, but you can see the report that people can now even get money from Central Bank and bring. Although um, uh, there is another website that says that cement is banned in Nigeria. So I'm saying that to a large extent, most of the things we consume in Nigeria, at least 75%, if they are portion on the average, are imported. From the, imagine Chinese pull off all their output, all their production from Nigeria. Which we're phone are we going to use? Mm. Imagine India pull off everything they produce out of Nigeria. Imagine Brazil pull off everything. Do you know, not my figures, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, we spent over 300 billion to import antibiotics. Not other drugs, just antibiotics. Not for one year, for one quarter. What about the malaria medication? I hope we are not importing that it's, one. We are importing 100%. Oh, Jesus we have Christ. some pharmaceutical because companies that are making it. That Nigeria. is a major. Yeah, everyone but, gets but malaria still, in Nigeria. But we are still importing. How about injections? What about paracetamol? We are still importing. We make some, we import some. So it is to that level. We are now wondering what is happening to exchange rate. We are asking, why is the parallel market continue to sort? Because can central bank re I mean, respond to the quantum demand that we have? I doubt. So you could hear when the president said to NESG that he would ensure, which is a fantastic statement to make, that all the backlog will be cleared. The question is, how soon will this backlog be cleared? Because the reality of what we face with today is that in the real sense, our demand for foreign products, let me paraphrase it, our demand for F dollars or every, any other co country's commodity, because we have to use that exchange rate for now, even though there are other strategies we could use, is so high that we need to depend on the rest of the world or the occurrence in this case the dollar for also but the question is for everything we are buying from china what is china buying from nigeria from what we are buying from america what is america buying from nigeria we are buying education from the united kingdom america and canada what are they buying from nigeria in, in exchange these are questions we need to answer so have we observed so the need? we are always giving we are always collecting, collecting. We are not giving. Not giving. And you see, what the word, God Almighty, forbids that. For me to remain living, we have to breathe out and breathe in. Mm -hmm. I cannot say, I cherish my breath so much that I don't want to breathe out. Even the Bible says it is, it is better to, to give, to give than, than to, to receive. receive. And he said the hand of the giver will be on, top. on top. So for an economy... So you see, that's, what, that's the reason why our economy is always down. Yes. This is BOD TV Board. In case the first time you come here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more uploads.